Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Bendy in the Dark Revival video. In this one, I'm going to be showing y'all a secret that you might have missed around where you first pick up your weapon at. The gent pipe can be found right behind this fence here. I definitely recommend to do this secret as soon as you get to this part because it is pretty rewarding doing this. And what we're going to be doing is unlocking this door that's in here that you might have seen on your way first getting the gent pipe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take out these enemies over here real quick. So I'm kind of having to hide. <laughs> but yeah, how we open this door here is by pressing three hidden buttons that are around in this general area. They're hidden behind posters around this place. So... It's pretty straightforward getting the gate open, but there's more to it than just that. First, I'm going to be showing y'all where all of the hidden buttons are at. Once again, I recommend doing this when you do get to this part because it is pretty rewarding. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. The first button you can find right over here. Oh, gosh. Of course, you have to show up right as soon as I start the guide. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways, the first button you can find right behind this poster here, as you can see. So, yeah, that's the first one. The second one you can find over here in this room. It'll be behind this poster here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's the second one. Easy peasy, right? And the third one can be found right over here in this room. You will have to bust open this wall here to get in here. But yeah, as you can see, you can find the third button behind this poster here. A busy bee is a happy bee. There we go. Now we got all of the buttons pressed. Now we're going to be able to unlock that door that I showed you all in the beginning on the way to get the weapon. I don't know why I took this way. I just went the wrong way, basically. Yeah, I'm over here at the lounge. We're actually going to have to go over to this area, though, further on. I'll get more into that uh, once I show you a little bit of what's down here in the basement. Anyways, now we'll have to head back to that door, which we can find right over here through the atrium supply. So yeah, once you unlock it, it'll lead to this ladder here that you can climb down. And as you can see, right off the bat, we can find a power up here that we can collect. And this alone is why you should take the time to do this secret. You can find this power up right after getting your gent pipe. Anyways, there's also some other goodies on the table too. Some good stuff basically in the beginning of the game. Anyways, to further progress through here, we'll have to bust open this wall here. and just head this way. This will lead to a locked door that we can't open yet, but there's a sign next to it that gives a hint on how we can open this. As you can see, it states quiet please, which some of you probably have already guessed it. Uh, in order to open this door, we're going to have to not be quiet because you know it's already quiet down here. Like it doesn't matter if we hit this door or anything. How we make it so it's not quiet down here is by playing the radio in the lounge that we were just at and the thing is we're gonna have to be quick enough too. like as soon as we play the radio we're gonna have to jet down here as fast as we can we got to get down back to that door before the radio turns off so it can be kinda tricky I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this distraction just to make sure I got a clear run and I don't get distracted by any of the enemies on my way back down there Oh my gosh. Oh, I guess it's a good thing this is happening now. And not when I'm trying to get down there. Oh, get in there! Whoo, that was so close. Whoo, I thought I was a goner. I don't know if you guys thought that too. But yeah, we can find the radio right here. And like I mentioned, we're going to have to be quick. So as soon as I turn it on, I'm going to start running back to that door. Alright, let's go. 
I will say though, where we're heading right now, it doesn't have any loot in the room. So you're not gonna be missing like something beneficial for your playthrough. So if you are just getting the jump pipe and doing this and not able to get in the door, don't worry about it. You're not missing out on any loot. I'm gonna be showing you everything that'll be in here though. It is something interesting the developers added in, but there's nothing beneficial that you could pick up in here. So yeah, keep that in mind. We're almost back and the radio is still on. If it turns off, you'll hear the door shut if you're close to it. All right, we're in. So yeah, this is what's behind the door. As you can see, this guy didn't like being disturbed. <laughs> I guess he's just sitting here banging his head on the refrigerator. Oh my! Uh, okay then. Anyways, also down here you can find some mini figurines of Alice Angel, Bendy, and Boris on the table here. This is supposed to be like Dungeons and Dragons, as you can see. Got them fighting each other. This is awesome. It's the little things. Speaking of the little things, the developers even added like the stats and characteristics of each of the figurines that are out in the battlefield. As you can see over here for Alice Angel, she has 16 strength, 8 intelligence, 19 wisdom, 11 dexterity, 17 constitution, 14 charisma. Backpack, she has thick ink and cutout pieces. Her hit points are 10, that's her hit dice. Her spells are Calming Chant, Soothing Touch. So yeah, that's what Alice Angel's stats are on the Dungeons and Dragons battlefield. Or should I say Dungeons and Ink Demons? Oh my! Speaking of Ink Demon, oh no, I am screwed, I think. Is there a hiding spot in here? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to come back here. There's more to show. Wow, as soon as I said Ink Demon, that was pretty hilarious, though. I'm glad I was recording that. Alright, <laughs> I'm back. So he just stays doing that if I don't approach him? Y you know what? I'm just going to carry on and read these again. There's also a door in here, too, that you can open. But that just leads back to the beginning where we found the power-up. I want to check these out. For those of you that are interested, I'm kind of curious myself. Okay, so Bendy is a fighter. Makes sense. He has 19 strength, 11 intelligence, 14 wisdom, 16 dexterity, 17 constitution, and 8 charisma. His spells are beast mode and ink puddle. And in his backpack he has lash reel and projector head. Uh, his hit points are 12, and yeah, that's his hit dice. Cool. Alright, what's on the other side here? Bendy's Dungeons and Ink Demons. Oh my gosh. I'm glad the Ink Demon didn't show up out of nowhere when I said that this time. <laughs> Player and Master Module. This is so cool. Anyways, Boris here is a wizard. He has 11 strength, 19 intelligence, 14 wisdom, 16 dexterity, 17 constitution, 8 charisma. His spells are bacon soup bolt and bacon barrier. In his backpack he has spoon, soup can, and bone. And his hit points are 8. And yeah, that's his hit dice right there. Too. Can we interact with anything on this table? Oh my, not again! <sighs> I guess you can't. They sound metal though. Cool. What's this say? Dark Atrium level 1. Alright, and you can see the little dice here too. Yeah, I guess he just keeps headbanging. It's brutal. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this enjoyable. I'm out of here. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.